I thought it would be quite interesting to record and show how a new design's hull mould is developed. We build the plug by hand from sections lofted from hull design software. Certainly this can, and often is nowadays, done by a 3-axis milling machine. But it's more satisfying to build it this way if you can, as one can refine details and make modifications as you progress. First the hull's transverse sections are erected, upside down, spaced out on a level base. Then battens are placed that form the hull's edges, keels and chines. Now we begin to see the shape of the hull appear. Next the skin is formed from MDF, very much in the way one would plate an aluminium or steel hull. Afterwards the surface is carefully fared and sanded. It's a lot of hard work, but eventually we end up creating the final hull shape. Next comes spraying with surface primer. Once painted, the plug is polished and waxed to create an absolutely perfect replica of the hull as it will eventually be. The whole process is immensely satisfying as the design slowly appears. Now the mould can be built. The mould, which has been built upside down, is then turned over. So it's been a lot of hard work, but finally, after several months and a few thousand man hours, we built the whole mould from which the prototype and demonstrator for XSV20 will be built. So now we can start building the hull. The hull is a cord composite construction, been built using vinyl ester resin, e-glass woven rovings for the main laminate and incorporating Kevlar and carbon fibre for specific reinforcement. 